Well, Southwest Airlines is known for having no baggage or change fees and cheap flights to the Gulf Coast. And now the man that turned the Dallas based airline from a small regional carrier to a national brand is transitioning to a new role. That's right. Southwest CEO Gary Kelly is stepping aside and a new leader has been named to lead the company. Alex Rozier is live at Dallas Love Field on this gorgeous afternoon. Alex, this is big news. Yeah, it really is. Gary Kelly, he led what's become the largest domestic commercial airline in the industry. And today he announced that he is stepping down, leaving behind quite a legacy as he hands the baton to another longtime Southwest veteran. He's been uh, my partner and my friend and my uh, mentor. Alongside the new CEO of Southwest Airlines, Bob Jordan, Current Chief Executive Officer Gary Kelly spoke of his new assignment. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not retiring. I'm not leaving. I'm not resigning. Uh, I just get to transition to a new role, so I'll become executive chairman. Kelly became CEO in 2004. He started at Southwest as a financial controller in the 80s and eventually worked his way to the top. When he leaves, he can only say one thing. He's been a raging success. Michael Boyd runs an aviation consulting firm. He thinks Kelly is a top boss in the airline industry. He helped Southwest merge with AirTran. Under Kelly's watch, Southwest entered the Caribbean, Mexico, Hawaii, and more. All while surviving a financial crisis in 2008 and a pandemic. There's very few airline CEOs, I would say, who could have left their airline without having one misstep or another. I can't find a misstep Gary Kelly's ever made. Now they turn to Bob Jordan, a longtime Southwest vet. The biggest challenges Mr. Jordan will face is how to prepare the airline so it is just as successful in its next 50 years as it has been in the past 50 years. Henry Hartevelt is an aviation consultant. He knows Jordan's got a lot of decisions to make. What type of aircraft should it operate? How can it find more markets to profitably serve? How does he preserve and evolve it's wonderful uh, corporate culture, one that many other companies study. Experts think Southwest is in good hands. Bob Jordan's been there for like 35 years. He knows the people, the people know him. To promote someone from elsewhere in the airline industry was like putting a Presbyterian minister as Pope. You know, it's a different, it's a different mindset. And Bob Jordan is gonna probably lead this airline in the same direction Gary Kelly did, up. So a whole lot of praise for both Bob Jordan and Gary Kelly. Kelly still has a few months left in that top role. Bob Jordan going to take over as the CEO of Southwest Airlines on February the 1st. We're live at Love Field. I'm Alex Rosier.